What up, Junior Bodies TV? Your boy here, Strict Form again, bringing you a video. Um, here to talk to you about uh, fat, the, the two types of fat. You got visceral, and then you got um, subcutaneous fat. Basically, visceral fat is the fat that protects the organs, and then you have subcutaneous fat, and as the fat that's between the muscle and the skin. Usually, that fat is high. And um, people just obese. So, but also, um, talking talking to you about body types. Also, you got mesmomorph body type. That body type is um, a person who puts on muscle very easily, and usually generally has uh, low amounts of fat. You have endomorph. They put on weight easily, also, but they also put on fat, fat and muscle pretty pretty easily and then you have ectomorph and the ectomorph struggles to put on weight um, put on muscle supposedly so but here's the here's the crazy thing about that you have ectomorphs who they struggle to put on weight but if you look at them you got some that's ripped you know what I mean um, and then you have some where you you, you you don't really see any muscle definition, but they struggle to put on weight. So that's what that's what made me start um, this video today. Because uh, basically, the thing is, you have some who who has higher contents of subcutaneous fat, and that's why they they're real slim, but they still kind of flimsy. And I'm not talking about like your runners. You know anything like that? Just people really don't do anything. They don't work out at all. Um, you have some that's ripped, and then you have some that that they, they're skinny, but they're like a fat skinny. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't really got that much muscle definition, any tone or anything like that. So um, subcutaneous fat is the reason for that. You know what I mean? That that you can have two people like back in the day. Uh, I used to work at Bally's long time ago about four or five years ago and um in one of the training classes we, we was having a discussion because at Bally's they had these machines to to take your to test your body fat it's a machine that you just grab onto but a lot of times people were like oh I don't like that because you know um it, it's not accurate um the most accurate is the is you getting in the water the hydro system um I forgot what it's called but uh that's the most accurate that's what that's what athletes you know would do at professional athletes to figure out their body fat but the one that you hold on to i felt like it was a little bit more accurate than than the um the pinch and i'm gonna tell you why because with the pinch a lot of times is subcutaneous fat right which is you know a big part of you being obese or whatever but when we would do we had two people in there and they both worked out but one was extremely ripped you know what I mean he was really ripped but he ate trash I mean all he ate was McDonald's and, and Burger King and he just ate like trash all the time and you had another person in there who they ate pretty healthy it wasn't the healthiest but it was still pretty healthy and um, when we would do the test the person who ate pretty healthy always had a lower body fat percentage but the thing the crazy thing was the other person was extremely more ripped and they was around the same um weight one was shorter the one the guy who was ripped he was shorter but he was he was really ripped so just looking at him if you used to do a pinch test or just looking at him you would think naturally he has the lower body fat percentage but he just had a lot more fat under the muscle you know what i mean and then sometimes that's how you see cats you see cats where they got a, a pretty big stomach, like the stomach is is not really flat and skinny. You know, it, it comes out a little bit. You think about Hulk Hogan and you see you still see their abs. Now, a lot of times is you know, cats be taking taking stuff, um, human growth hormones and stuff like that, and that's gonna make your organs a little bit bigger. But, you know, when you have it, I know cats in the gym that their, their, their stomach is, is pretty big. It sticks out a little bit further than their chest, but you can still see their abs. They have low amounts of subcutaneous fat. 
but they have higher amounts of um, viscular fat. So, you know, just in case you was wondering why some cats is, is more ripped um, than others, that's the reason, you know, it's not always about uh, the body fat percentage per se, because, you know, until, until everybody's getting in the, the, the water, the system, you know, the hydro system, and finding out exactly what their body fat percentage is, you know, don't worry about it. Just try to live the best you can, clean up your diet, you know, and just work hard. All right, your boy here is Chick Forum signing out. Peace.